A video of a Miami cop being pulled over by a citizen went viral last week, and now the woman who posted the video is in the spotlight for a different reason. Claudia Castillo confronted Officer Daniel Fontasiella for speeding down a South Florida highway. And then Castillo posted the video on YouTube shortly after, and the clip is more than a million views right now, but she's become the target of cyber harassment from the police. Now, Nick, this is the Miami Police Union president, Javier Ortiz, and he's taken it upon himself to avenge uh, the officer officer's misgivings uh, in the clip. So he's decided to start posting personal information about Claudia Castillo on Twitter. Uh, we actually have a couple of the tweets uh, that we can show you. And these are coming from the official um, Fraternal Order of Police Twitter account. So this isn't his personal account. This is like the official police account. Um, and some of the things that he's saying um, are posting pictures of Castillo driving a boat while drinking, um, saying wannabe cop, hashtag Claudia Castillo likes to drink and drive recreational vehicles. He even also said, uh, this is her cited two weeks ago for careless driving, hashtag cop hater. So, I mean, I think in this situation, what she did was somewhat innocuous, just pulling over a cop and speeding, but does this warrant her personal life being put on blast like that? No, exactly, and, and it's so sad to me because what this video did was make the cop look pretty bad. Not all Miami cops, just this one cop. And then the FOP's official account from Miami tweets out, and, and instead of being the bigger man and taking this on in a responsible manner, they do childish things like going through her own account and finding old pictures of her drinking a beer on a boat. Big deal. I'm sure all of those cops do worse stuff than that on their free time. What they do in their free time is, is their own business. But putting it out and then portraying this person as someone who's terrible is just sad. And, and it's so, I mean, saying that this is unprofessional, is, is an understatement. It's just, it's just pitiful that they would go out of their way to do something like this, and it actually ended up making them look way worse, all of them, you know, not just this one cop who was speeding. Right, I mean, it's, you have the video, and the cop clearly, you know, he apologizes, he says, you know, I was on my way to work, right. blah, blah, whatever excuse mm -hmm. that he gives, right? And then that's it, and it goes viral, and people are upset about it, like, because she had a point, you know, cops should try to set an example, it's protect and serve. Yes. And then we have this instance on the flip side of this, um, union president who is not affiliated other than the fact that they're both cops in Miami and he's coming to the defense of his brother in blue saying you know what we have to protect our own and I think it just goes to show that there is still some lack of accountability here you know for her personal life to be sort of slandered like that he even went as far as to post her business card online um, and tell his followers to call her as well so just the onslaught of harassment is that even legal to do I yeah I mean <laughs> we've seen instances we've done stories here before where people have posted personal information and it's been taken down the post actually also have been taken down, but it's not clear at this point if it was, you know, the social media platform or if he removed him. Hopefully he removed them himself because... I wouldn't even be surprised if he didn't. I mean, the fact that, you know, you have to be told that you shouldn't put a tweet like this on an FOP official account is just sad in itself, and it just blows my mind. Like, I, it literally blows my mind that they would go out of their ways to post something as unprofessional on their official account. If this guy took to his own Twitter account and did it personally, okay, that's less shocking. But the fact that they bring that whole, you know, FOP into this is a completely different story. Well, now we have this viral video that has taken a very petty turn with the cops going after the woman who called them out for speeding.